Now, upstairs, when I signed the papers to get on the ballot, I was asked to write a few words. And I want to tell you the words that I wrote. And what I wrote was that this country needs a political revolution. That our government belongs to all of us and not just the one percent. And that, in a nutshell, is really what this campaign is about. What this campaign is about is saying no to an economy which is rigged, an economy which, in New Hampshire and in Vermont and all over this country, millions of people are working longer hours for lower wages, while almost all of the new wealth and income is going to the top 1%. Together, we are going to create an economy which works for working families and not just millionaires and billionaires. What this campaign is about is saying no to a campaign finance system which is corrupt and that we are determined to overturn Citizens United. We are determined to get rid of super PACs now, you know, I am pretty proud of the fact that I am the only Democratic candidate for president who does not have a super PAC. I do not want millions of dollars from corporate America or the billionaire class because we do not represent their interests. And I am enormously proud that at this moment in the campaign, and I want all of you to hear this, we should be all proud of this, we have raised more individual contributions, 750,000, more than any other campaign in the history of America. This is a people's campaign, a grassroots campaign, and we're going to win it because at the end of the day, there are a heck of a lot more working people and middle class people than there are billionaires or CEOs. And this campaign has been successful here in New Hampshire and all over America because we are treating the American people with intelligence. We are talking about the major issues facing our country. And when we talk about major issues, let me just say this. I've got seven beautiful grandchildren, three of whom live here in New Hampshire. And, and I believe from the bottom of my heart that we have a moral responsibility to make sure that the planet we leave, all of our kids and grandchildren, is habitable and healthy. As president, I promise you that the United States of America will lead the world, working with China and Russia and India, lead the world in transforming our energy system away from fossil fuel into energy efficiency and sustainable energy. Now, the Koch brothers may not like it, 
Exxon Mobil may not like it. But the planet depends not on their short-term profits and greed, but upon transforming our energy system. Yeah. Now, I've been all over your beautiful state, and I've been all over this country, and everybody, or virtually everybody that I meet understands that we are living in a highly competitive global economy. And what people know is that if our economy is to prosper, if we're going to, going to create the jobs we need, we need the best educated workforce in the world. And that is why I have introduced legislation and will fight for, as president, making every public college and university in America tuition free. Fifty or sixty years ago, a high school degree was good enough to make it into the middle class. That is not the case today. And it is an absolute disgrace that we have hundreds of thousands of bright young people who are unable to go to college only because their family lacks the funds. That's not what this country should be about. And when we talk about the America we want to become, I pledge to you that we are all going to work together to end institutional racism in America and to reform a broken criminal justice system. I will not be the president of a country that has more people in jail than any other country. I will be the president of a country which has the best educated population on earth. Instead of sending our kids to jail, we're going to invest in education and jobs, not more incarceration. And when we talk about the needs of America, let none of us forget 11 million undocumented people in this country who deserve to be taken out of the shadows, who deserve a path toward citizenship through comprehensive immigration reform. And what this campaign is saying to the billionaire class, your days of greed and recklessness and irresponsibility is over. To Wall Street and to corporate America, we say loudly and clearly, you are going to start paying your fair share of taxes. Brothers and sisters, what I have said throughout this campaign is that no president, not Bernie Sanders or anybody else, can bring about the transformations that we need in this country. No president can do it alone. What we need is for millions of people, many of whom who have given up on the political process, they look to Washington and they say, I'm working longer hours for low wages, and in Washington, they're giving tax breaks to billionaires. And people are saying, you know, I can't make it in New Hampshire on $13,000 a year on Social Security, and you got people in Washington talking about cutting Social Security. And people are giving up. They're getting disillusioned. And let me say this from the bottom of my heart. I am a fierce believer in democracy. And as former chairman of the Veterans Committee, I have met with countless men and women who have put their lives on the line from World War II to Iraq to defend this country and our democratic way of life. And we have a very deep responsibility to make sure that we create a vibrant democracy. I do not want to see this country have one of the lowest voter turnouts of any major country on earth. I want to see us have the highest voter turnout. And this is what I believe. 
you know, I've been criticized for having an agenda that is too ambitious, that says that every American is entitled to health care as a right, that says that we should not be the only major country not to guarantee paid family and medical leave, that we should not have more wealth and income inequality than almost any country on earth. I believe that the agenda that we have brought forth, it's not a radical agenda, it's not some left-wing extremist agenda. This is the agenda of the middle class of this country. This is an agenda that says that in the last 30 years, there has been a massive transfer of wealth, but that transfer has gone in the wrong direction. It's gone from the middle class to the top one-tenth of one percent. And what this campaign is about is to ultimately say, and millions of people are going to be saying it, and are saying it today, enough is enough. This country, this country and our government belong to all of us, not just a handful of billionaires. With your help, we are going to win here in New Hampshire. With your help, we are going to win the Democratic nomination. With your help, we are going to win the general election. And not just, not just elect Bernie Sanders president, but transform America. Thank you all very much.